So Sarah, I've heard a lot about Center for Courageous Kids in Scottsville, Kentucky, mm -hmm. and I kind of have an idea of what it is, but I don't think people know the magnitude of what you do there. We serve children and their families um, they living from a living with a variety of different medical challenges and issues as you said. Um, right now we have our diabetes kids there. So how our program is set up, we are a year-round program. So throughout the fall and spring we have those family weekend retreats where the child can come along with the family participate in all of our camp activities together. And come first of summer, uh, we have a nine week straight of summer camp. So that's where the child comes independently uh, without mom and dad. So mom and dad drops them off with us for uh, three days. It's a three, you know, three day camp. And so they really trust us a lot with their babies. And, you know, it's a lot of trust for the parents to say, here's my child. Uh, with diabetes. I trust you to give them their insulin shots. I trust you to do this. And so then here's my child that's nonverbal, but I trust you guys to be able to take care of them fully. Well, but we need to, we need to point out too, and we'll get into the specifics of the camp, but you have a full spot on medical facility there, yes. staffed with yes. plenty of personnel to watch over. Yes. yes. So that is what sets us apart from your traditional camps. And as you said, uh, a lot of the children that come there, they can't go to your 4-H camps or your church camps because they're, there's not a medical presence there. So when that child with the illness comes to our camp, um, set aside from them bowling and fishing and you know the horseback riding and arts and crafts, we have our on-site medical center, like you said, fully staffed with our full-time physician and camp RNs and then we supplement uh, that with volunteer doctors from all over the country and volunteer nurses. And so we do have that huge medical presence there that um, they're specialized and they're able to take care of these childs, you know, the, the medical needs that come along with that. So that is what allows these children that, um, you know, otherwise wouldn't get to attend a traditional camp, come Honey, to CCK. Philosophy, fun equals healing. You have been communications director there for 10 years. Share with me, you could probably give me a gabillion, but I only want to hear one really special story of when you saw how Center for Courageous Kids was making a difference in one life. Okay, one very specific story that stands out to me, and like you said, there's lots. Um, it was when we had our children there with spinal muscular atrophy. And what that is, is the spinal muscular atrophy uh, children, they have very little muscle mass. A lot of them will be in your gurney style wheelchairs. They don't have the um, capability to even set up straight. And so it is um, the parents that, that come along with them and um, the challenges are astronomical. And so that one story, um, I'm there a lot of times taking photos um, and stuff like that to put on social media and through our brochure, brochures and you know PR pieces. And so I was up at, at the horse barn. And so I'm up there with my camera and I'm you know doing my thing. So I noticed that the child, and her name was Anna, and our equestrian staff, they lifted her out of the gurney style wheelchair and they set her up on top of the horse in our specialized saddle. Mom and dad holding the oxygen machines in behind the horse and seven to eight firefighters holding this child on the horse and walking around with them. And so I was in behind my camera and I said, wow, it's one of those moments that I call a walk away moment you just have to you experience and you have to walk away from it, catch your breath a little bit, and then go back because that is when I saw this is what camp does. And this, I mean, no matter your illness, no matter the challenge you're, challenges you're dealing with, we put those kids up on a horse. We put those kids in a boat. And so when I saw Anna up on that horse and experiencing what it feels like to walk, it's very therapeutic for a child to be on a horse. It's very equine. It's what we call equine therapy. So her being up on top of that horse with those firefighters, she was getting the sensation of what it's like for her feet to walk through that horse. So when that moment happened and I saw, you know, the ability of our staff to be able to do that and the smile on her face and the parents walking along there, that is when a moment uh, that I found, I was like, wow, that, uh, that's going to stick with me. And that happened years ago and it's still sticking with me today. Oh, thanks for sharing. We've been talking with Sarah Keltner, who's the communications director at the Center for Courageous Kids. We're going to put up more information where you can learn more about CCK. We just call it CCK, right? Yes. And of course, we'd love to hear your comments here on Coffee Near Me. And a special thanks to the Erskines. We're at Paradise Point in Scottsville, Kentucky. I'm Barbara Dean.